Hello and welcome back to Thoughts from a Cluttered Mind. There was a comment in my last video, so I have made a response to it in both the comments section and a video itself. As you can tell, the sun is being rather uncooperative today, so I will be perhaps a little bit hard to hear when I move away from the blinding light coming in through my shades at the moment. Anyway, <clears throat> so today's topic I decided was going to be about immigration. Now, when I say this, I mean no disrespect. I was born here, and everyone is born somewhere. It really makes little difference where you're born. It's more where you'd like to be. And yes, I know citizenship where you're born matters. But ultimately, there's not that big of a difference. Now, bear with me here. All Americans, if you could trace your roots back to the very founding of our country, were immigrants. We came here from somewhere else. Therefore, each and every one of us, if you even were the very first family to be here, are immigrants. Each and every person here is an immigrant. The only people that are the exception, perhaps, are the Native Americans, which in that fact, that's entirely another topic. So, let me get into the immigration thing here. When it comes to people wishing to be in this country, I believe they should go about it legally. And yes, there's a lot of red tape, and yes, not everybody can be here. However, there are legal means and legal channels you can take in order to become a legal citizen of this country that I live in, the U.S. And if those are accomplished, if those are things that you do, I have no say against you. You have done everything correct. You are here perfectly fine. And welcome. I look to you as a fellow countryman. And yes, I understand, you may have mixed feelings about our country, but you ultimately want to be here. And I can see why, I'm not going to get into it, but this country is great, it has lots of liberties, and I love it, and could not see myself living in any other. Now, mind you, there's those that come here illegally, and it's this that I have exception with. It's the people that come here illegally and then have actual things handed to them. Like, for instance, one of the car accidents that I've been in, the person had no valid proof of identification, did not speak English, did not actually have even a passport or anything of this nature, yet had somehow had insurance. And this isn't, mind you, that they didn't have anything, it's that they just did not have it. They told the policeman they did not have it. Mind you, this is also when several of them were le fleeing the scene, so that's another topic again. But again, illegal immigrants, those that are here without permission, they do do harm in some instances, because the ones that can't be here sometimes are because of illegal activities such as crime, or other such things, like prostitution, drug trafficking, etc., etc., etc. Or the fact that they don't have the means, the financial means to be here, which ultimately is sad that it's these people, the people that wish to be in our country, just cannot afford it, that I think there should be something set up. I believe there should be some kind of, perhaps, enlistment into the armed service, and therefore, once they do a tour or X amount of time in the service, they are considered to be a full-fledged citizen. Mind you, this then would perhaps cause issues where people would be going into the armed service and get training and then come in here illegally for illegal means. Sure, okay, yeah, but when you enlist in the U.S., you get a background check, and therefore, if you have any of these such things, it's generally found out about. And yes, they're coming from another country. However, the armed service in the U.S. goes all over the world, and we're very intrusive into things that we generally sometimes shouldn't be. And it's this fact that most illegal activity, even if they're from another country, would eventually be found out about. So therefore, they should be allowed to enlist, as long as the same standards are set, where a background check is done, wherein this person has this illegal means, have, or excuse me, this illegal activity in their past and is found out about, they should be potentially disqualified from enlistment and therefore sent back. And yes, okay, not everyone is discovered that comes here legally. Well, ultimately, if they commit a crime, any crime, and they are not a U.S. citizen, they should be sent back. And yes, I understand this is sometimes the case, however, it sometimes is not, where the person just pays and leaves, and therefore they're here legally and they paid their bail before any issue could happen, where the 
comportment. I'm not familiar with the actual verbiage of organization, but the ultimate people that determine deportation and things of that nature. They can potentially get away from them by just paying a fine. So this is something that is not okay in my opinion. It should be allowed that this country has open borders for damn near every country because we all are immigrants. It should be allowed for those legally to not be treated unfairly because they are doing things legally here by choice and through the legal channels and are brethren to us, brothers and sisters, and they are countrymen. They may not citizen, consider themselves citizens of our country and may not have the same ideals of us, but we are a melting pot of hundreds of different cultures, and that's what makes us great in my opinion. Having these people that come here legally, that's great. The illegal people that come here, they tend to cause issues, and yes, I know that's being unfair because even legal people cause issues, and I understand that, and I agree. I'm just saying that if they wish to be in this country, I'd say set up some form of service. You wish to be in our country, enlist if you cannot be here legally. Yeah, they may potentially become harmed, and yes, that is terrible, and I do not wish that to happen. However, it will essentially help and limit the potential of people that are here legally wishing to do so, because if they are here legally and they are caught, they could potentially have a choice. Enlist, and if I have no prior record that would disqualify me for enlisting, I become a member of society. The society that I helped and worked and fought for, which again, we should accept them then. However, if they do have a criminal past or record, send them back. And I understand, yeah, they may have family here, they may have children here, and that's terrible, I'm sorry, but it should be how it is if it is not already and they should be sent back and mind you hear about these instances of these people coming here just to give birth so that their child is considered a legal citizen and okay yeah they're born here but that doesn't matter you are not um if you're born on the moon that doesn't mean you're from the moon you're from the earth the moon cannot habitate you if you are from the u.s and you go to mexico and have your child I don't see how that quantifies your child to be Mexican or vice versa or any country. You are the byproduct of your raising. It should not be the country that you have your child in be their responsibility to raise or to protect or take care of that child. So therefore the people that become deported and the child stay here because it was born here or the instances of where they petition to have that happen or adoption or things of that nature, it should not be our necessity to do so. It should be no country's necessity. You had your child here. You had your child. It goes back with you. That is my thoughts about this. I understand that people may have opposing views. Feel free to comment, and I will read through them and comment again. Thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.